In this video, we'll talk about living a meaningful life. Have you met some people that seem to have it all? They are focused, driven, and committed to certain things that make them the envy of others. You don't have to just wish you are like them. With the right and purposeful step, you can have a stamp of authority on the direction of your life. It all begins with finding something you can live or even die for. This section will do justice to that. Purpose, plan, and pursuit. The three words above define what it means and how to live a meaningful life. Purpose describes your reason for living. It is crucial that you discover the reason for your existence as soon as possible, because it will affect other areas of your life. It is when you know what you want to do with your life that you can know the kind of things you should put in your plans and the kind of things that shouldn't be found there. You're different from other people, and you need to recognize your uniqueness as soon as possible. Once you have recognized your strengths and gifts, the next stage is to create a plan that can help you to maximize them. Your plan is the map that will lead you to your destination. It begins in your head, but it's in your best interest that you don't leave it there. Write it out somewhere. Writing out your plans and targets has many benefits. One of them is that the writing process helps you to retain something more. Also, it will help you to be able to look at the plan and think about it again. Sometimes, due to different reasons, we lose the positive emotions we had when we were drafting a plan over time. It might be that you started feeling that your plans aren't feasible in the light of new realities. Therefore, you need to keep your focus by putting your plans into written form. Checking them will remind you about the reasons the targets were important in the first place. After making your plans, you are ready to pursue your targets. The pursuit of personal happiness. Why should you achieve your targets and feel empty and wasted at the end of the day? So it should be clear before you start pursuing a goal that it will increase your chances of happiness in the long run. Don't assume that you can be happy by reaching a target. Rather, be observant and make your findings. Are the people that have achieved your dreams happy? This is a crucial question you need to answer. It's true that there are some things that increase your chances of having positive emotions. Still, at the end of the day, happiness is a choice. Don't depend on your achievements and the approval of others to be happy. At the time of writing this, Jose Mourinho just got sacked at the Tottenham Football Club six days before he was meant to lead the team to play a cup final. It's quite difficult to imagine that he would be a happy man. This is someone that has won the UEFA Champions League two times at two different clubs, among other collective and individual accolades. His CV ought to have bought him some time, but it didn't for some reason. The system of this world is set up in such a way that you'll have to keep proving yourself all over again. So if you haven't decided to be happy regardless of what comes your way, you'll go through life being grumpy. Prioritizing legacies. Instant gratification feels nice in the short term. However, it can make you lose sight of the long-term benefits you might lose. Instant gratification will not make you start an endeavor with clarity. Your judgment will be clouded by what you stand to enjoy in the short run and make you forget all that you stand to enjoy or lose in the long run. Instead of short-term benefits, you should prioritize the legacies you can establish. It's this desire for instant gratification that makes people commit all sorts of atrocities we see around us. Many individuals go into a business with the aim of cashing out as soon as possible. As a result of their mindset, they are desperate. They don't mind ripping off others of their hard-earned money just to earn quick profits. They don't mind making others sad as long as they've been able to increase their account balance. If you have this approach to life, you'll not be able to see the pitfalls you might fall into because you'll not be meticulous enough to pay attention to detail. Greed can make you stop considering all the dangers that are associated with a deal. So always set out to do things right. Be that entrepreneur that will be a fantastic example of how to achieve financial freedom without losing your soul to future generations, pouring yourself into serving others. Nothing else can make you feel like you're making your life count than when you're serving others with your life. There are many articles and books that have been written in recent times that have focused on self-love. Indeed, these attempts are understandable, especially due to the number of people that are taking their lives all over the world. However, we need to be careful to avoid curing an extreme with another extreme. In the bid to encourage people to value themselves and care for themselves, we might end up promoting selfishness. Our natural tendency as human beings is to be selfish. This is the reason for envy that leads to sabotaging the efforts of others. We all want to be in the spotlight and made to feel that we matter. So we don't need anyone to encourage us as much before we start focusing on ourselves to the detriment of others. Nonetheless, we need a lot of encouragement and motivation to place the needs of others above ourselves. When we eventually do, life becomes more worthwhile and meaningful. We will have more reasons to be happy when we realize that there are many people that have reasons to keep on living 
because of our sacrifices and efforts. Why should you sacrifice that feeling for personal gains? For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.